Hello, hi, it's Daydream Austin, aka Oya Bumi. Hi, how are you? Ooh, my forehead is shiny. It's gonna be blinding, y'all. Sorry, that's that Austin forehead, y'all. What can you do? Put on some shades, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> hi, everybody, welcome to another episode of my Arisha journey. Before I get started, remember to go to my website, daydreamaustin.com. There you can find updates. You can subscribe to receive email updates. Um, you can go to my store where you'll find some of my books. Um, there's even a free ebook if you want to do some reading. Um, you know, you just want to do some reading about relationships. There's some readings. I have pre-recorded readings that start at $33. And I have live readings. Um... So yeah, just go check that out. Thank you for your donations, for your love. Um, yeah, to the people that are sending good energy this way, I thank you so much. I receive it all. Send me more. I'm so silly. Thank you. Um, today, I wanted to discuss depression um, in relation to Ifa Arisha tradition. And I don't come to you discussing things that I have no clue about, right? That's not my thing. Um, I'm coming to you to talk to you about depression because I have experienced depression, like serious depression. Um, I've experienced a lot of things actually for uh, my age, but I know this is something that a lot of people face now. Um, and it's no surprise when we look at what's going on in the world and the systems that are set up around us and the ways we need to participate in them. There are just a lot of people who struggle, right, with deep sadness, um, despondence, you know, like a very, very depressed and low spirit. I feel like I'm going to start getting messages about this um spirit spiritual messages so you know in my studies of the odu um i've seen a lot of i'm sorry this is so interesting such a serious strong energy just kind of entered it's like a meditative state that's why I said I know they're going to be giving me messages, so bear with me. But in the old do, I've noticed when I'm reading that there will be these um, times where the, the characters that are being referenced in the old do are weeping and very sad and just low and they're doing that, right? They're, they're sitting in lamentation. They're very, very unhappy because there's something missing in their life. So you might read one verse that says, you know, so-and-so was weeping in lamentation um, because she couldn't bear children. So-and-so was weeping in lamentation because um, his or her iray stayed too long in heaven. That means their good fortune stayed too long in heaven. It wasn't coming to earth. You know, they were weeping in lamentation because, you know, people betrayed them. All of these different things you'll find throughout the Odu. Um, and I started to, to see something that I recognized there. Because I remember the times when I've been very, very unhappy. I was unhappy because something was missing, right? And not just like little little stuff that you have to work towards, but... Something was missing that I was longing for. And it's the same thing when I read those different Odu, right? There's a longing in, in, our, in these people. There's a longing for that woman who wants to have a child. She's long, there's a longing, a deep longing for it. This is not just something she wants. She wants it. She desires it so powerfully that the lack of that thing depresses her spirit. Y'all know what, if somebody knows exactly what I'm talking about right now. You know, there are people who are so destitute, you know, and 
and they just they don't want to live like that they don't want to struggle and fight and and all of that and so that longing that desire is so strong for that thing that because they lack it you know it, it depresses it douses and drowns their spirit right so i find that to be one of the things that leads to depression there's not just one the second thing is the mind and this habitual pattern of thinking about the same things over and over again and sometimes it feels like it's out of our control so say you're a guy and you fell madly in love with this female so in love with her you were willing to do anything for her you gave her all of you you gave everything you had and you found out that this girl was no good she was a piece of trash because people can be garbage i'm sorry you could probably you could find that in the old dude there's an old dude that talks about people being worthless okay there's probably multiple old dudes that that speak of that but the person was trash doesn't have good character doesn't have a good personality uses people betrays people does whatever they want is very selfish so that that happens to to this guy right he gives everything he's so broken inside because he can't believe that he can give so much and get so little in return and be betrayed like that so years go by but there's this pattern of remembering right this of this memory coming up and replaying over and over again the memory of the hurt the memory of the betrayal the memory of the loss right losing a part of yourself um the the memory of being hurt so deeply by someone you love so it's like this record that skips over and over again right and you you get to a point when you're depressed you just feel like you can't turn it off so you have the combination right so say that guy now has that those memories and the combination of not having the love that he seeks or that um he desires so you have that longing and you have those memories when you put those two things together it pulls you down into the depths of despair anyone who's experienced depression knows that it isolates you right it takes you out the game you get to a point where you can't even function you don't want to be around people and things like that so the time we're living in i'm gonna say this is a natural part of life because we are <clears throat> You know, you have a lot of grown-ass people out here, you know, late 30s and 40s, have never really been in a, a solid, loving relationship, are not married, might not have children. If they do have children, it's not in a, under the optimal conditions, right? So there's the, the struggles in that way. So you, you have these people that are longing and, and yearning for something that's ve that is very difficult to have in our time right um and not not to say it's impossible but it's definitely um not as easy as it may have been in the past before this type of culture was set up um so you have things like that you know you have this other dynamic where a lot of us are not in tune with our destiny right so that's where that longing that yearning is coming from uh, many of us are getting up every day and spending more time at a job that we don't like than we are spending with our family right that contributes to it as well contributes to depression because our destiny we're not connecting with our destiny so those longings those yearnings are destiny they're calling you towards your destiny that's your ori trying to like coax you like hey come over here don't you want this yeah well no come this way no don't focus on that come over here um and we don't realize it because a lot of the time we're trying to stay in line with this culture right and, and what this culture says we should do 
So when you have those, that lack of, um, lack of focus, right, on, on destiny, lack of direction in terms of destiny, um, when you have that longing, those deep desires and longing, and then on top of that, you have memories of really horrible things and, and trauma, which settles in your body, right? So it not only settles here, but it settles in your body and, and it replays over and over again and, and gives you cues over and over again. It's like the perfect storm for depression. So then, you know, if you're depressed, you're going, you're going inside, you're isolating, you just want to go and be on your own and you don't want to be bothered with people. That is actually a brilliant time because what it's doing is forcing you to meditate, forcing you inside, right? Now, the bad thing is a lot of the times when you're depressed and you're going inside, you're going inside to replay, to look at the, look at the video over and over again, right, of all of the horrible things. But I'm coming to you today to tell you, if you are one of these people who is depressed right now, and you are just like, I can't do this. I, I got to get away from people. Use that time when you're going within to think about what it is you want to create for your life. Don't focus on what has happened that you haven't liked. Focus on what you want. And if you can't even do that, then try not to focus on anything. When those thoughts, you know, come, when that movie starts to replay, let that shit pass by like a cloud in the sky. Just don't put your focus on it. Know that it's a thought. It's a, you know, it's a thing and it's going to float on by and something, some other thing will come, right? Um, and I also want to encourage people, if you are suicidal, um, get some help. Don't sit there and, and think you too good to go to a psychiatrist or a therapist um or take some pills if the pills are going to help you to to balance yourself enough to stay alive until you figure it out then you need to do that but i really see just from when i was like studying the old dudes recently and i saw that i kept seeing that over and over again right this this weeping this yearning you know this sadness because they don't have this thing I'm like, that is a, how a lot of us feel here. And it's called depression. And it's made into a condition. And we're told that it's horrible. But we're going to have different points in our lives where, you know, our destinies are going to shift. Or, you know, what we were doing is no longer the path that we need to go on. And we need to go in another direction. So that depression is telling you something is off. Something is not right. You're not in the right job. You're not in the right relationship. You're living in the wrong place, living with the wrong people. You're doing the wrong things. It's all just a reminder, a nudge to you to get it together. It's your Ori like, no, no, no more of this. This does not work for you. This does not work for us. Let's look at depression in that way because I feel like it's really just a nudge, a push in the right direction. Um, I've been, you know, I remember being with, with this guy and it was just not a, a good relationship at all. There was nothing good about it, B, nothing. <laughs> but I'm just there because I'm just there, you know, whatever. But no, my Ori was like, no, no, what are you doing? Like, no, we're not doing this anymore. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm so sad, life. Oh. <laughs> no, it was that longing. It was that um, inner, my inner knowing saying, nah, what are you doing? You don't belong here. Know when you are being told that you don't belong somewhere. And the condition depression could be as simple as that figuring out where you belong if you don't belong everything in your being will let you know pay attention to that so that's all i have to say about depression today um feel free to you know send me an email if you want to talk more about it if there's an interest then maybe i'll do something separate 
for people who are dealing with these things, okay? Anyway, love is love. I'm sending you love through the video. Oya. Iya mi oya. May you bless. May you comfort, guide, and support those who are watching right now that are in a state of what we call depression, Iya, who are lamenting over their inability to secure the things that they want. May their ores bless them so that they may have all the array in life so that they will not lack those longings, so that they will not lack those desires, so that everything that is aligned with their destiny would be within their grasp. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Ashe. Bye.